Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Sabrina for those of you who don't know me. Hey, wait a minute. I'm the Sabrina. This Hello everyone. <laughs> Hi. If you guys follow me for a while, sometimes I have a cooking video and for a while I didn't have anything. I was thinking about it. Oh, what, what I'm going to cook? What should I cook? Anyway, my friend Sydney, he was here. You can come here. Oh, come I was here. You know? <laughs> I was like talking to my friend and I said, what do you think? He said, how about my uh, banana, how about my banana, <laughs> banana bread, banana bread. I was going to say banana topic. <laughs> Sorry guys, end of the day, I'm exhausted. I had a very crazy day. Actually he has a very, very good uh, recipe from his grandmother. Great and grandmother, great grandmother Amberson's uh, famous banana bread recipe. So I'm going to share that. Anyway, and he said, how about that one? I said, wow, yes. And actually, I craving for banana bread. And we're going to cook together. We're going to bake together. Yes. Okay. Okay, I'm going to, you're my assistant or I'm your oh, assistant? Oh, you're the chef. I'm the assistant. <laughs> no, no. Please go ahead. Okay, let's start. Go ahead. Okay. Okay, guys. You guys ready? Let's get it started. Okay. You want to start talking about the ingredients sure. for all the ingredients sorry for all the ingredients I'm gonna link below for everything and the measurement and the recipe and everything okay go ahead so it's a uh, banana bread so of course we have bananas we have flour we have baking soda salt sugar lots of sugar two eggs one cup of walnuts and a whole stick of butter and actually, this is very, very easy. You see, now almost 7.30 p.m. And I'm tired, but I'm not feeling conscious. So, oh my gosh, I'm gonna bake something. Because this is very, very simple and easy and very yummy and delicious. Okay, um, you wanna, I'm gonna just watch you. Okay. Okay, you have a big bowl. And which of these items you're going to um, mix it together? The dry ingredients, except for sugar. So I'm going to put the flour in first. Okay. So that's the flour. I sift it. And this is the baking soda. Thank you. And this is the salt. Thank you. And can I have a little bit? Sure. So we're just going to mix those together real quick. Next is the butter. So we're going to put the butter and the sugar in a different... Okay, you need a bowl for... Thanks so much. Because of the coronavirus, we're not touching anything. Yes. <laughs> All, right. All right, now we soften the butter and I'm going to add sugar and mix, mix it all. Oh, we did butter. Yes, with the butter. You can mix it very well. And the more you mix it, actually if you use a hand mixer, it's probably better because you want to have air in this to make it lighter. And then your banana bread will be lighter. How long do you do that? Uh, you do it until you get like a creamy consistency. You think five minutes, ten minutes? If you have a mixer, probably a minute. I have a mixer. Do you it or not? That's okay. We'll do it low tech. Okay. We're getting ready for the zombie apocalypse, so <laughs> we have to do things the old fashioned way. Okay. Next. Okay. Do you need me to hold this? Uh, yeah. I'm going to need that in a little while. Okay. I'm going to just put it here. All right, uh, next we're going to beat the eggs into the mixture. So, uh, can I use a little bowl there? Sure. Okay. Your hand is clean? Yeah, it didn't touch anything. Okay, good. Okay, let me just... Okay, this is better. And I, I think you're supposed to be my assistant, and now I'm your assistant. All right, you want me to be the... You, you're, you're no, that's okay, go oh, ahead. Okay. This was my great grandmother Amberson's recipe. The whole family loved it and she passed it on. You got it. 
Yeah. He's lying. Actually, I kicked it. It is a bit rusty, though. I'm sorry? I, 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 it, it, it resembles the one that she used to make, so I'm pretty sure this is correct. I was just keep thinking. He never told me this is his grandmother's recipe. And I was thinking, wow, maybe I'll miss it. Well, it tastes like her, so I just assume. As you can see, it's a pretty simple recipe. Yeah. Yeah, I, it's so easy and so yummy. Okay, now. Okay, now what do you do? Now you we have the beaten egg, and we're going to add that to our sugar and butter. Butter. And then how long do you do this? Um, just until it's well mixed. Not so long. All right. And now. I could really use your help. So for this one, we need a cup of banana. So would you mind like mashing a banana down into that? To this? Yes, please. Okay. Okay, this is ready. Yes. I smashed the uh, two bananas. Sure. Thanks so much. Yeah. Um, can I have that spatula? Maybe? Sure. Thanks so much. Yeah. This is one cup of bananas, smashed banana. Again, uh, with the smashed banana, you just want to make it almost liquid, you know, so you don't want to see chunks of banana in it. But I knows? like chunks of banana. Yeah, I was gonna say if you cook it, maybe the banana chunks will 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 taste good in the bread, but you can't have too many, otherwise it'll be maybe not good. And they always tell you to have overripe bananas for your banana bread. I, I kind of can see that because the, you can taste the flavor a little bit. Maybe show us a little bit. Can can I see it? Can you see it? The oh, okay, good. All right. Yeah, overripe bananas is what they always say, but I usually like regular bananas, not overripe, but ripe. All right, now we're ready to add the mixture to the dry ingredients. So we'll do that next. Okay, do you need this or oh, what do you... I'm so silly, I almost forgot the walnuts. I gotta add the walnuts first. Okay, do you need this? Or... Uh, for this, yeah, I can add them here. Alright, I'm gonna cut this. You didn't break the walnuts. I did some of them. This isn't too big? You want it like that? I, I like big, big piece of the... But it may not... Oh, it's not good? It may oh, not I be... I can a... do it now. More it may not be enough to go through the whole... Sure. I'm gonna just make each piece... Each piece, two pieces. <laughs> Cut it in half, yes. Cut it in half. Do you remember when was the first time you baked something? Actually, when I was growing up, I had three older sisters, and they used to spend time in the kitchen. They used to make cookies and cakes and things Aww, like that, brownies. Really? Yeah, and they. So cool. I don't know, maybe because I was the youngest, I used to hang around. Well, actually, I like to eat, so of course, cookies and brownies. Everybody eat. loves eating. Yeah, so I learned from a young age to follow a recipe. I could make oatmeal raisin. I like the oatmeal raisin. I like the whole Toll House cookies, brownies. Yeah, actually, you you're very good with baking. You're very good, and you know, yeah, as you said, you follow the recipe, which is I'm not that yeah. kind of person. I think it's good enough. All right, it? great. Yes, that's perfect. Thanks so much. Yep. Okay, so now I'm just going to mix these in. And you can see it's a pretty fast recipe. It really doesn't take that look a long time. And you, you know, you go to Starbucks and it's like three bucks for some banana bread that's been frozen there. Exactly. And, yeah, I mean, why do that? This is just, this is better than that. And it doesn't cost three bucks for a single slice. Although we will take orders for <laughs> shipping. Okay, All right. now you just mix it. Yeah, now we're just going to fold it in. Do you need any help? Or um, it? Yeah, I'm just mixing it in, so it's okay. And for the eggs, um, you just put the white and... The, the whole egg, yeah. The beaten, whole egg. Yeah, beaten and... I can hold this. Oh, thank you. And they always tell you, don't over mix when you add your... Um, your wet ingredients to the flour. For some reason, I think when you beat the flour, it like breaks the bonds or it does something to it. They always tell you that when you're making pancakes too. 
which is something else I'd like to make. Um, don't do that. So I'm just going to mix it just a little bit so that it's all combined, and then we're going to put it in the pan. That's it. It's very simple. See, it's already and ready. Would you like to um, talk about one of the things I'm not good with sizing and measurement always? And for the size of the pan, when I even when I look at the recipe, could you explain what size we use? Or well, I don't even usually know what size we have lots of this kind of the pot. Okay. This is just a loaf pan. I don't even know. It's for like bread or maybe meatloaf, but um, you make meatloaf in this. I think in this you can. Size? Really? I think you can. Oh. Anyway, it's like a loaf bread or whatever. Anyway, that's good. All right. So okay. Now what do you need? We have to butter and flour the pan. Okay. How you do that? So, this is the butter. Yeah. Would you like to assist with this part? Sure. Here, because you're. I don't need to melt it or anything. No, it's been sitting out, so just. I know it. I just want to ask questions. Just rub, rub it everywhere on there, and then we're gonna throw a little bit of flour in. Because I made this hundred times. I love this banana bread. Banana nuts. Not bread. Banana nut bread. Banana nut bread. Oven, you make the oven 350 and then you cook it. It depends on where you're at, but about 50, 50 to 60 minutes, depending. And something uh, Sydney has taught me to use that. I usually use the spray for the cake or any, you know, any time I bake something. He said, don't do it. And actually, he's right. I just started doing his method. He just using butter. Yeah, at least it's natural, you know. Natural, you're right. Yeah, yeah you're right. Knows where. Yeah. Or okay. maybe, maybe just rub it in the corners, make sure the corners are, are there. Yes, sir. Thank you so much. All right, that, no, no. Uh, did you get in the corner with your finger? You have to use your finger to, to get it. Okay, my hand is clean. Yeah, that's why I wanted her to do Great. Okay. I didn't do all of it. Let me do all. Okay, good. This is, yeah. I put the butter everywhere. Okay. Right. Uh, next, I'm going to add some flour just to make sure. Me. Just to make sure we didn't miss any place with the butter. And by doing this, the the loaf will come out very easily. Maybe you stand up there to make sure they can see it. Sure. Sorry about that. This is my first cooking video, so I apologize. Okay, so that's it. That's pretty much it. Now it just has to get poured in. So good. Guys, you see? We put the flour on top of the butter. And now we have our... Our what? Mixture. Mixture. It's not dull, so I guess. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna put here. You see, even not 10 minutes. Yes, it's fast. Very fast. If you want to make your co worker happy, Friday morning, you make this and take it to office. I'm sure everybody loves it. Because usually, I used to do that, not anymore, but used to do that. And one tip for you guys, too, when you take the uh, banana bread out of the oven after it starts to cool, wrap it in aluminum foil and then that way it keeps a lot of the moisture in and then when you cut it it's going to be very moist. We so. need to tell them later. Okay, sure. He's going to tell them again. We're not going to have any editing in this video. Okay guys. Looks pretty good. Okay, let's put it in the oven. Okay. okay. What is the next step? We're gonna cross our fingers and we're gonna put it in the oven. Voila. Would you um, repeat again about the temperature? temperature? It's 350, so it's gonna 350. be 350 depending upon your oven area. So about 50 minutes to 55, somewhere around there. Okay. So I cannot wait. Hi. I, you gonna say? I say. You say. It's oh, let's we do both together.
We're not going to gonna add this part. No. Okay, guys. No, you do it. Okay, sure. So okay, I, he's going to do it. Actually, notice I changed. Actually, I've been slaving over a hot stove all day, so I had to cool <laughs> off a little bit. Anyway, this is it. It turned out pretty good, I think. But this is the moment of truth, so cross your fingers. How are we going to do this? I'm just going to flip it over. Did you wash your pan? I didn't touch it. What? Yeah, you did it. You did it so good. Okay, right, now you're going to turn you flip it? it over. Yes. No, you're doing it. No, you do your No, you're doing it. Uh, yeah, I wash my hand. Voila. Looks pretty good. Looks good. Would you buy something like this in the store? All right, let's have a bite. What do you say? It's good. Let's bring the knife. Looks pretty good. Yeah, it's still kind of hot. We, that's why it's not quite. Okay, this is for you. You're gonna eat it at the same thank time. You. You'll pick up. No, thank you. It's so pretty. Oh, good. I know it's late, not time for cake, but I can also myself. Very good. Mm. Very moist. Mmm. Yummy. Delicious. Very good. Actually, you said lots of sugar. It's not lots of sugar. It's very good. Mm. I don't like very sweet yeah, cake sure. or pastry, but this is very good enough. Mm. Mm. Very good. Very yummy. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Thank you for having me. No, thank great. you for doing this. And thank you so much for uh, spending time with me today, with us actually. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope you can, you know, you try this cake. It's very, very easy and very yummy. And I'm going to put all the information in the link below. Do you have anything to say? <laughs> Well, actually, it's kind of a surprise, but this is actually going to be What's a tag it? video. It's oh, a tag really? Video. Yeah. I'm tagging surprise. Rico. Surprise. Even I'm surprised. I'm tagging Rico, who's Andre's husband, who Sabrina told me all about, and said, what a wonderful cookie is. Oh, Rico. Rico, can you make a banana bread like this? <laughs> let's, let's see. <laughs> really? Sure, sure. He didn't tell me, but he knows, because anybody... With my friend or fo I follow them. He always follow them, and he watching the Andre's video. I'm your biggest fan. You're, you're, you're Thank you. One. Thank you so much. Okay, Rico, it's your challenge. Come on, man. You have to make it. <laughs> Love you, Andre. <laughs> okay, guys. Thank you so much for watching and spending time with us. Have a good day or night. Bye.